are on our way to the desert. We are going to be celebrating my cousin's 30th birthday and we are going to be staying in an Airbnb, which is great because the van, well, it's a little cleaner now, but it's like full of stuff. So I'm excited, but it's also gonna be 90 degrees. So we're gonna see how this weekend or few days go in Joshua Tree slash the desert. We made it to the desert and our Airbnb. Time to go check it out. This house woo, is too cute, but we need to decorate. So it's time to get that going. Now we sit and we wait for the birthday girl to show up. My cousin opened some presents and she really enjoyed them, including a crossword that my brother and I and a few cousins made for her, which she spent approximately the whole rest of the trip completing. Rachel would hate this weather. Probably like this. Um, <laughs> I like I know outcast outcast refrain with hey. You got that one! You can do that. Wait, how many others? <laughs> Yay! Do you want a mechanical yeah, pencil right minutes. now? <laughs> okay. they, Rachel's been doing the crossword, but it's about to be sunset. So we're gonna go hang over here. Um, right. We had dinner, we had cake, and Rachel didn't finish the crossword, but it's done for night one. We're gonna head into the desert tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Day two, we're going to Joshua Tree. Our plan is to drive all the way through the park, and then go to Palm Springs and hit up a pool. Got to the park with my camera. No memory card. Does it turn out deserted? The team was like infected. All right, time to hike. Dylan's got his dad hat on as long sleeve. We got into Joshua Tree in the mid morning and it was already hot. So we just did a couple of short hikes in the park like Hidden Valley and Barker Dam, where we were able to view the landscapes up close and get to see the trees. We also saw some views of Coachella Valley and we saw cool cacti and other plants along the way. Two of the highlights were the Choya Cactus Garden and also the oasis that we found with lots of palm trees. Then we went to the pool to cool off. <laughs> I was hanging at the pool. It was very relaxing. Yeah, we don't get a lot of uh, relaxation moments in the van. Well, that's not true, but we don't get nice relaxation moments like that other than at campsites. Gorgeous day. Lovely. After the pool, we go back to our Airbnb and along the way, we saw one of the most incredible sunsets with beautiful colors that lit up the sky. Day three in the
in the desert? We're going golfing. Except I'm not going golfing. I'm just here to watch. I think I should be a professional caddy. We did it. Now it's time to get some lunch. Get out of the seat. Maybe go to a pool. The world's our oyster. We then did drive to another pool where we cooled down from the heat. Then we got some drinks and dinner, played some games on our very last night in this beautiful Airbnb. We've had a few amazing hot days in the desert, but it's time to leave and hit some cooler areas. So if you wanna follow along for all of our summer adventures, we've got a lot planned. Make sure to like and subscribe for more.